But if you look at the country as a whole, in general, 4% of the population carry this disorder, which means 40 million people carry this one good copy, one copy with a mistake. That is one out of every 25 Indian. But there are some communities in which this risk is double or even four times this. Well, these are these communities. Why these specific communities? It is probably related to population migration that took many, many centuries ago. In the Northeast, we have another kind of hemoglobin. It's called the hemoglobin E. But these populations are now mixed and they are seen everywhere. Sickle cell, for example, is in the central part of India. But if you are practicing in any part of India, you will see all these because populations have moved around. Now let's go back to some basics. If you know that all the chromosomes in our body, every cell in our body contains 46 chromosomes, 23 plus 23. We can think of it like two sets of books. But in the sperm and the ova, the number is half. This is the haploid number. So here is a woman who is a carrier of thalassemia, which means one number 11 chromosome she has is perfect, and one number 11 has a printing mistake where hemoglobin synthesis is written. Now, when she is symptomless because she has got one normal copy, but when she ovulates, the ovum will contain either the good copy or the bad copy, simply because only half the number is present in the ova. Similarly, if there is a man who is a carrier, some of his sperms will contain the good copy, some will contain the copy with the error. Now, when two people like this marry and have children, there are only four possibilities that can occur, and these are the four possibilities. And you will notice that in one possibility, both of them will contribute, the one with the mutation, and that child would be not be able to manufacture any hemoglobin. This is the affected child or the one who has got thalassemia major. And you would realize that the risk is 25% in each and every pregnancy. 